Senate President Pro Tempore Jingo Estrada has criticized a new ordinance issued by the San Juan City government, which mandates that all donations from pri private and public sources should have prior approval from the mayor's office or risk facing fines. This includes individuals, governments, and non governmental organizations or NGOs. Uh, let's try to bring in the LGU side on this issue. We have with us on the line tonight San Juan City Mayor Francis Zamora. Good evening, Mayor Zamora. Thank you for making time out for us. Yes, good evening, Sean and Regina. Thank you for having me on your program. Uh, first things first, for those who are unaware, I want to recap the salient points of this San Juan Ordinance Number 26. It says all donations from private and public individuals, governments, or non-governmental organizations for victims of the disaster must go through the office of the mayor to ensure that it is recorded and reported properly and that the beneficiaries will get the same. Whoever violates the provision stated in the city ordinance will be fined 5,000 pesos. Mayor Zamora, could you talk us through the rationale for this? Okay, uh, Sean and Regina, I would just like to clarify that city ordinance number 26 series of 2024 was enacted by the City Council of San Juan to ensure that uh, if there will be groups who will be donating uh, to flood victims or fire victims in the city of San Juan, that the city government will be able to check first what these items are. What are we asking for? We are just asking for proper coordination. Mm. Because uh, if we will allow donors to go directly to the evacuation center without uh, us being able to assess what they will be donating. It's possible that they may donate expired items such as food, medicines, drinks, milk. Uh, and if something happens to our evacuees, if they get sick because they consume expired goods, then we are responsible. If there will be groups that would like to distribute financial assistance but do not coordinate with us in case a stampede happens and uh, children and uh, senior citizens are stepped on, who will be responsible? It will be us. Again, I would just like to clarify, we welcome all kinds of help. We are not limiting the kind of help that people would want to give if uh, we encounter fires or floods. All we want is uh, for them to be able to coordinate with us so that we can also execute properly because whatever happens inside the evacuation center is our responsibility. And uh, just to share with you and the public, we never had any problems at all. In fact, uh, ICA, the Savior, these schools uh, coordinated with us and uh, we were able to execute uh, the donation uh, process properly. Speaker Martin Oboldes recently helped us with food tax and uh, in the next few weeks he will be releasing financial assistance for our flood victims for no problems at all. So mm. the, the unfortunate thing here is uh, the two senators are spinning this negatively and making it sound like uh, we are preventing people from helping. When in fact the rationale really is, uh, we just need proper coordination. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have never coordinated with us. That's the reality. All they have to do is coordinate with us and they will realize that it's not difficult at all. If you've never had a problem before, Mayor, I was wondering what prompted this ordinance then? Why, why, what was the trigger here? What problem was, were you trying to solve? Okay, uh, this, this ordinance was passed probably two months ago, if I remember correctly, one or two months ago. And this came about because there were instances where people would go to the evacuation center past the curfew hours, mm -hmm. and they would insist on uh, going inside simply because they wanted to donate slippers. Also, in some instances, people are asking for listings of flood victims, which we cannot just release arbitrarily because it will violate data privacy law. So again, uh, if there will be people who would like to help the city of San Juan in any way, all they have to do is coordinate. Again, this is not limiting anyone who would like to help. It's just ensuring that there will be a proper donation process and that, uh, remember, everything that happens in the evacuation center is our responsibility. Right. Also, are there are instances mm -hmm. that uh, there are mothers who are breastfeeding their uh, children. If we allow donors to just walk in at any time they want, then... Uh, the vulnerable citizenry uh, may be exposed to these people who will just walk in the evacuation center. Okay, Mayor Zamara, let's just make a clarification. Um, since this ordinance has been in place, 
or past, has no one been turned down? Anyone who was offering donations, nobody has been turned down, just to make it clear. We have, we have never turned down anyone uh, at all. And even if you ask big organizations during uh, last typhoon, Karin, big organizations uh, donated, no one had any problem at all. So I believe that uh, the senator is complaining. Uh, all he has to do really is just to lower his price a little, just coordinate with the local government of San Juan. This is an ordinance enacted by the City Council of San Juan. The local government code has empowered city councils and local governments to enact ordinances for the general welfare of our people. We have never turned down anyone who wanted to donate. In fact, uh, Senator Estrada never coordinated with us. All he has to do is just coordinate with us, and he will realize it's not difficult uh, mm -hmm. to be able to help the people of San Juan through proper coordination with the local government of San Juan. Mayor Zamora, well, there was a video. I'm going to ask it um, because it was all over social media. I, I saw it like multiple times. I think you know the video I'm talking about. There was a Senator Jingoy and uh, a lady, and supposedly, as you know, the days passed. Supposedly, the, the lady uh, works for City Hall, and she was posted outside the evacuation center. Was this order? Ordinance, not a reaction to that video and supposedly the issue that arose na um, he was being barred from giving donations uh, straight or uh, directly. No. Uh -huh. the, okay, uh, that, that video went viral I think about a week ago. Hmm. The ordinance was passed more than a month ago. Mm -hmm. So they cannot say that uh, we, we just passed this after that video went viral. So, that's something that uh, they can check with the records of our Sangguniang Panusod. The video went viral just last week. Uh, this ordinance was passed, I believe, a month ago. It isn't just uh, Senator Jingo Estrada, of course. Uh, Senator J.V. Ejercito also criticized the ordinance. If I may just read out his exact response, he says, the decision to penalize those who only wanted to help is unjustified and a clear form of abuse of power. Instead of encouraging Bayanihan, this discourages those who want to help those in need. It is unacceptable to involve politics in aid distribution to San Juan City residents. San Juanenos deserve better. That is the Englishized version of his, uh, of his Tagalog statement. Could I have you respond to that, please, in particular, the bit about politics? Yes, again, there's no politics involved here. And uh, if you, even if you ask uh, Speaker Martin Romolde, his team coordinated with us. Even if you ask Ika and Savior School, their teams coordinated with us. Even if you ask the big companies and NGOs that helped San Juan during uh, Super Typhoon Karina, during the fire, the Chuchi Foundation coordinated with us, the Federation of Filipino Chinese Chambers of Commerce coordinated with us. We never had a single problem. There are only two people who consider this a problem, and these are the two senators, because they don't coordinate with us. Probably they think because they are senators, they don't need to coordinate with the local government. That is unfortunate, because they themselves are former mayors. Uh, they know uh, the policies of local governments in terms of evacuation centers and how we have responsibility over them and uh, the evacuees. So if something happens in the evacuation center, it's our responsibility. So we have to ensure that there is order, that rules and regulations are followed. Again, we are not giving donors a hard time. In fact, we have a mayor's office uh, help desk in the evacuation center itself that will be uh, ready to coordinate with anyone who would like to donate. It's a matter of planning when they will come, uh, for us to assess what they will distribute, to ensure that the items they, they will distribute will be safe uh, for consumption, the food, the medicines, the milk, the water. It's just that. No one else has encountered any problems, even if we ask around. Okay, um, you're right. All three have been mayors of San Juan. Mayor Zamora, if, for example, uh, a, a citizen, a constituent like myself, I would like to donate, uh, how, how, where do I go? Do I go to City Hall? Do I have to write a formal request? No, you, you, just, yeah. you, just, have, you just have to, for instance, uh, for instance, uh, even if you check my uh, social media account during Super Typhoon Karina, we announced that uh, donations may be given uh, in our help desk in City Hall. In fact, that's where all the donations went uh, for us to be able to sort them, to repack them, uh, to assess uh, if they are expired items, uh, to properly distribute and allocate them, because we also do not want inequitable distribution in evacuation centers. 
again, uh, we are uh, just assessing what are these items. Okay, so if you'd like to donate, uh, we often announce where to bring them. Also, if one is a visionary, uh, there are help desks that are ready to accept donations. Uh, even GMA7, Kabusa Foundation went there. They even had a program there. They didn't have a hard time. The group of Mr. Hansi of SM, they coordinated with us. They didn't have a hard time. No one had a hard time at all. Mm -hmm. If you ask around, no one had a hard time at all. Uh, it's just because these two senators, they do not want to coordinate with us. Maybe because they think they are senators, uh, they are uh, above uh, the rules and regulations of the local government. But they have to just coordinate with us. Maybe if they try to coordinate with us, they, re they will realize that it's not difficult at all for them to be able to uh, implement whatever they want to do, whatever kind of help they want to distribute. Mayor, are you not worried that having everything passed through City Hall is going to create bottlenecks? I mean, typically in the immediate aftermath of a disaster, there's chaos, right? So, and I'm sure your staff are also uh, overworked and spread too thin trying to attend to everyone. So are you not worried that mandating that everything goes through you guys is going to create unneeded, unnecessary bottlenecks? No, there's no bottleneck at all because if we do not do that, uh, how can we be assured that what they're distributing is safe? That's my question. If you would like to distribute today uh, and you bring 1,000 food packs, what if uh, these are spoiled already because they were cooked this morning without you knowing it, and we feed them to our people? If they get sick, what happens? Was that, that the real that's reason, that's a, that's Mayor? That's a basic question. Right? Was that, yeah. was that really yeah. the reason, Mayor? Panis na food. Pwede yung mangyari yun. Yun ang sinasabi ko. Pwede yung mangyari po yun. Pwede yung mangyari yung panis na food. Pwede yung mangyari yung expired na pagkayan. At sino pong masisisi kung pag may mangyari sa kanila, kami po. Sapagkat kami pong responsable dun sa mga tao po sa loob ng evacuation center. Alam mo po, nung uh, kasagsagan nung uh, sunog, meron pong isang pamilya na may bulutong. Sila po ay naka-quarantine doon. Kung papasok lang ang mga donors without coordinating, posibleng mahawa sila dun sa batang may bulutong. That is how it is in evacuation centers. May mga natutulog po ron na mga magulang, mga bata, may nagpapadeding uh, nanay ng kanyang sanggol. Kung papasok lang ang sinong gusto mag-donate hindi na ko-coordinate sa amin, paano po yun? Paano po yung privacy nila? Paano kung papasok sila ng 12 midnight at tulog na po ang mga tao? Yun lang po ang gusto namin uh, mangyari. Mag-coordinate lang po. We are not preventing anyone. It's not an additional layer of uh, bureaucracy because even if you ask all that have donated, please ask them if they had a hard time. And they will say no, we didn't have a hard time.